One of the best resources CalHFA offers is our loan scenario calculator. In fact, it's one of the most clicked links on our website. Go to the website calhfa.ca.gov. Click on Lenders, Real Estate Agents, then the calculator icon. You plug in the basic information about the loan. Is the borrower a first time home buyer? Most likely yes. But if it's no, the calculator will not give you options for down payment and closing cost assistance since the borrower would have to be a first time home buyer. Are you doing an FHA 203H loan for this borrower? If yes, this program allows 100% financing on the first and extra closing cost assistance. Are you doing a Section 184 Indian Home Loan Program for this borrower? If yes, it allows a lower down payment and lower mortgage insurance. Is the borrower's income under 80% AMI per Fannie Mae's lookup tool? If you are not sure, click the link to the Fannie Mae website to look it up. These questions are important because in some cases it'll allow for more assistance. Now choose the county the property is located in, enter the purchase price and the credit score, choose the type of property, enter all of the closing costs the borrower will be responsible for including origination and other lender fees like title, escrow, and prepaids. For the optional information, personally, I leave these blank most of the time since it's easy to see at the end how the borrower's funds or seller credits would affect the borrower's cash to close. A couple options though. If you are doing a conventional loan, you need a DU approved eligible decision. If you cannot get it at 97% LTV, try it at 95. Sometimes Fannie likes that better. If that's the case, put 95% in as your target LTV and the calculator will adjust all your loan amounts. Or if you are using the Forgivable Equity Builder, the target LTV field can also come in handy to see the various options on how much to use towards the down payment. Remember, since CalHFA has a CLTV max of 105%, use a minimum of 5% towards the down payment. But just so that you know, if you leave it blank, the calculator will automatically use the program maximum. Now in the loan information section, in the loan program dropdown, choose the program that you'd like to use for this client. Now if you are choosing CalPlus Conventional or CalPlus FHA, you'll have two options for the ZIP closing cost assistance, either 2% or 3%. So make sure you choose the one you want. Choose My Home or the Forgivable Equity Builder as the CalHFA subordinate program you'd like to add. Enter the interest rate. The Find Current Rate button is right next to that field and gives you quick, easy access to CalHFA's rate page. Click out, find the corresponding rate, go back to the calculator and enter it. If it's a high balance loan, don't forget to also get the high balance fee off the rate sheet too and plug it in here. Since we used $450,000 as our sales price in this example, the high balance fee isn't applicable, so we are leaving it blank. Now hit Calculate Results. Check it out. It calculates the first mortgage loan amount, the upfront MI, the total loan amount. It also calculates the My Home or Forgivable and ZIP loan amounts. It gives us LTV, CLTV, and the borrower's estimated contribution. This is an estimate on how much it'll cost to close the loan. So affordable. It also estimates the borrower's monthly mortgage payment, including principal and interest and in taxes and insurance. Then, and this is the best part, you can do a side-by-side -side comparison by clicking Add a Scenario. Then complete the Scenario 2 loan information dropdown. This time choose the 2% zip instead of 3%. Our interest rate will be a little bit lower. Enter that from the rate page. Calculate results. It pulls up the new scenario but keeps the previous one next to it for comparison. So we can see the cash to close increased but their payment decreased because the interest rate was less. And you can even add one more scenario. So you can have a total of three side-by-side -side scenarios to present to your borrower or to your realtor partner or just for you. It's a great way to wrap your head around how CalHFA programs work to create homeownership in California. 
Feel free to call CalHFA Single Family Lending at 916-326-8033 with any questions or visit our website at www.calhfa.ca.gov. Now get out there and help more Californians have a place to call home.